Hi everyone. Welcome to Double C Cap. In this video, we will understand how to create a template and how to send it across. Before we proceed, we need to understand what is a template. What is a WhatsApp API template? A template is nothing but a set message, or you can say pre-approved message format from WhatsApp. You can create a template. You have to get it approved from WhatsApp in order to ensure that it complies the WhatsApp guidelines and policies. So let's understand how to create a template on DoubleTick app. To do that, log into DoubleTick app and go to templates. Click on the new template button. Once you come on this page, you see that there is an option to enter the template name. Now this template name has to be unique every time that you create a new template. That means, Let's assume that you decide to create five different type of templates having different messages. Every time that you create, you have to ensure that the template name has to be unique. In our case, let me enter the template name as test123 space. Now, when you put space, it comes with underscore automatically. Today's date, 23rd. March. Now, this is a template name. To proceed, you have to select a category. Now, the category is actually the type of message that you want to send, whether it is a marketing message or a transactional, or you want to send a one time code to somebody, or authentication, utility, whatever. So, in my case, let's go with a marketing. Click on next. Now, here there are several options like text, image, video, and doc. None. If you go to none, all you have to do is just enter the plain text message and you can simply uh, send it across. But if you go to text message, it comes with a header. Here in the header, in the body section, and also in the footer, you can enter the message. Let me show it to you. I have selected text. I entered the header. I also entered the body of the message and the footer. Now, like on WhatsApp, if you want to uh, send a text and you want to format it as bold, you can simply put an asterisk mark, which means it becomes bold. If you put the asterisk mark, it becomes bold and you can forward it to your customer. Now, I click on next. Now, when you click on next, it comes with on a button option. Now, on this button tab, you see that there are two more options, call to action and quick reply. What does this mean? Call to action means if a customer hits this particular button, it will trigger a link and the customer will move away from WhatsApp and it will open up a particular website. So let's try and see that how this button actually looks like. You can put the name of the button. For example, I have entered here as visit website and I entered the link doubletick.io. You have to ensure that it must start with HTTPS colon double slash. Now, you can also put another call to action button which is for call. And you can enter the number. Now, here you have to ensure that you have to enter the country code and the number, the 10 digit number along with the plus 91 country code. This button will appear visit website and call now. Now, if you click on next, you will see that this entire message has come up. This is the header. This is the body of the message and this is the footer. This is how it will go to your customers and it will have these two buttons. Now, the moment when the customer will hit this visit website button, it will trigger the website on their browser and they'll be able to visit the particular website. Or if they hit the call now button, it will open up the phone dialer along with the number that you had entered. Now, this is called call to action. Either you can use call to action or you can use the 
quick reply button. Now let's understand what is a quick reply button. Quick reply means you sent a message to your customer. You want some desired messages that they, they should reply to you. So let me show you how does it work. I have entered three buttons here, need support, general query and this is stop. Now it's pretty much like a call to action, but it does not have any link or any number. It's just the plain text that will appear as a button. Now again, it's the same thing, header, body and the footer along with the three buttons. Now the moment when the customer will hit any of these buttons, it will come up as a reply to this particular message. And you can filter those messages, those replies, and you can cater the customers according to their replies. So this is how it appears. All you have to do is now is that to submit, the, you have to submit this particular template. It will go to uh, WhatsApp for an approval. WhatsApp will either approve it or will reject it. So let's submit this particular template. This template has now been submitted. You can see the status of it. You can go to pending. You can filter it out. You see that there is only one template which is in pending status. Here you find all your rejected templates and here you find all your approved templates. Now, when you are submitting the template for the first time, it might take five minutes to maybe a 24 hours to get it approved. Normally it takes five minutes to 15 minutes. Otherwise it might take up to 24 hours. That is only for the first template. From second time onwards, it usually it gets approved within one to two minutes from whatsapp once it gets approved you get a notification on your whatsapp saying that the template has been approved you can directly come to the approved section you can filter it out and you can check your uh, template once the template is approved all you have to do is that go to the broadcast channel select the channel that you, where, where you want to send it Let's say I want to send this to test broadcast here. I'll simply click on the send template button. Here I will have all my, uh, in, in pending, this button is not active. You can select the approved one and you can directly forward it to your customer. All the approved templates are here. So this is how you can directly send it to your customers. Thank you so much.